what up? It's Ty1822. Here to review WWE Monday Night Raw. So Raw kicks off with Stephanie McMahon. So Stephanie, you know, was talking about last week's situation where Triple H and Daniel Bryan beat down. And it was announced tonight Daniel Bryan wouldn't be on the show. So, you know, Stephanie getting her heat by the crowd. They doing the Sam Park chance, the Daniel Bryan chance. Stephanie played it off so well. Didn't pay the crowd any mind. So then you had, um... Randy Orton come out. Now, Randy Orton, you know, he has a problem, you know, this situation is, you know, Bryant when he gets in, Triple H when he gets in. So then Batista came out. Batista, you know, got a lot of heat from the crowd. Microphone went off. Very funny stuff right there. So then Batista was like, you know what, Stephanie? You know, you've been drilled on before, right? You like to get drilled on. And the crowd, you know, they were still chuckling when Batista said that. So then Stephanie just smacked Batista. Shades came right off. Then you see Randy Orton just laugh his ass off, keep laughing. Batista sees him, gives Randy Orton despair. Funny segment right here. First match of the night, Fatal 4-Way. The winner will face Biggie Langston for the United States title on WWE Main Event. A burst to Del Rio, Dolph Ziggler, Sheamus, and Christian. This was an entertaining match right here. They all had their finishers at the end. Um, then, um... Ziggler caught uh, Del Rio in the zigzag, so it looked like he didn't get the one, two, three. Then Christian came out of nowhere, hit the, hit the kill switch on Dolph Ziggler. One, two, three, you're winning, Christian. And Christian will face Big E for the United States Championship on main event on the WWE Network. Sin Cara with a mascot, Scooby Doo, and his side versus Damian Sendow. Sin Cara gets the victory. Lost Matadors versus Curtis Axel and Ryback. The match didn't last long. The Shield came out, cost the distraction. Lost Matadors defeated Curtis Axel and uh, Ryback. And the Shield took out both guys. They got the revenge on them from last week on SmackDown. Triple H and Michael Cole. This was a funny segment. Triple H was, you know, saying what he's going to do to Daniel Bryan. He, you know, blamed everybody for this situation that will happen to Daniel Bryan. He was so good right here, playing to the crowd, getting all this heat. He said, you know, this three, I don't need era. I will destroy the yes movement. And once I beat Daniel Bryan, I will head to Triple Threat match to be the WWE World Champion. Cody Rhodes versus Fandango. Cody Rhodes defeated Fandango. Hulk Hogan, you know, with uh, um, Arnold Schwarzenegger, the other dude, got his name. Um, you know, they was talking about, you know, uh, you know, the, the legendary days, you know, in the WWE, you know, WrestleMania, all that stuff. So, you know, Hogan got a great reaction, of course. Arnold did, other guy did too. And Arnold talking about Hogan, about his muscles and all that, talking about Andre the Giant. So then you had the forgotten Miz came out, and the Miz was like, you know what? Uh, you know, I'm like the must see, you know, W champion and all that. He just been, you know, a doofus to them. So, you know, then out of nowhere, he challenged all of them. And, you know, Arnold smacked him, dude, punched him in the stomach. And Hogan tossed his ass over the ropes. Uh, you know, not a bad segment right here. It was cool to see Arnold and Hogan in the ring. I don't know the other guy, so, you know. <laughs> I don't know who he's on, what movie he's done, what TV show he's done. I don't know what the hell this guy done before. Titles of Nail versus The Big Show. The Big Show defeated Titles of Nail. John Cena versus Harper, this was a this was a fun match right here, man. I really enjoyed it, man. Harper really showed out in this match. Um, earlier they showed uh, Cena in the bathroom. You had one of the uh, you know wives with the uh, with the mask on, and he, like Cena was tripping. So like I said, the match was going on. Then all of a sudden the lights go out, and you see Cena tied up on the ropes with the goat face mask on. I love this right here because uh, nobody needed to win right here. Uh, I love this build up. Toward Bray Wyatt, John Cena at WrestleMania 30. AJ Lee versus Naomi. Um, match ended the uh, count out. AJ didn't want to get in this match. And any of y'all notice that AJ new shirt is similar to um, CM Punk old shirt from like 2008, I should say. I think 2008. So then Vic Guerrero comes out. And you know, Vic Guerrero mentioned that, you know, AJ stole Dolph Ziggler from back in the day. She's done a lot of things to her back in the day. So then she mentioned a match uh, for her Divas title, and she it's like every last Diva on the roster. So there's a possibility that AJ will finally lose her Divas title. You know, AJ's been a champion for a very long time. The new inducted to the W Hall of Fame, Razor Ramon, Sky Hall, 
so happy. Everybody on Twitter was marking out about it. But the strange thing, I think they're going to call him Scott Hall. He's just going as Razor Ramon. Because, you know, Dan mentioned NWO stuff. They just mentioned his days in the WWE, which was very surprising. And ho hopefully next year, Kevin Nash go in. Uh, you know, The Shield um, had a match against the Real Americans. This was the match of the night. So much good stuff right here. The crowd loved The Shield, and the crowd loved The Real Americans. Cesaro and Jack Swag. Entertaining stuff right here. Um, it was uh, Seth Rollins and uh, Dean Ambrose team together. This good stuff, man. Seth Rollins going to fire. The crowd loved it. Uh, then uh, Seth Rollins got the victory on uh, Jack Swagger. So then you had Cesaro attacking Seth Rollins. Then out of nowhere, Roman Reigns with the Superman punch. The crowd loved it. Uh, Cesaro outside the ropes, Reigns with the spear, crowd loved it too, and then it did a signature power bomb right through the announce table. Oh, uh, this great stuff right here. The shield. I mean, I love this. I love this stable. They was good as hills, and they already starting off good as faces. The crowd just loved the shield tonight, man. Just great stuff by these guys. <laughs> Last thing on the night, Brock Lesnar done the Undertaker. So you know, Paul Heyman was saying, you know. Your, your favorite John Cena, he never went undefeated at WrestleMania. Andre Jai, he never went undefeated at WrestleMania. Even you know, Brock Lesnar never went undefeated at WrestleMania. But, you know, he can end the streak. So then, Brock Lesnar said, you know what? Taker, get out here. I am ready to fight. So then you had Taker, you know, his people, the coach, the music, lights go out. Uh, it took very long, you know, when they pushing the casket. And Brock Lesnar's like, I, you know, stop playing these games. Is this a joke? So he lit the casket up. You know, he was stumping it earlier. Taker wasn't in there after he lifted it up. A couple minutes going on. He said, you know what, Paul? I'm leaving. Then, finally, the casket opened. Undertaker laying down. Gets up. Comes in the ring. Started, you know, attacking Brock Lesnar. You know, I wanted it to be a lot better. But, hey, I'm not going to really complain about it. Because it, a couple weeks ago, Undertaker returned. It was a great way to build up their match. I must have been 30. But, you know... It uh, wasn't that much, you know, Brock Lesnar, he didn't go back in the ring. He was just staring at Undertaker. They both pointed at the WrestleMania 30 logo for that match, which I can't wait to see. Um, tonight, Monday Night Raw, was a good show. I enjoyed a lot of stuff tonight. And I can't wait for WrestleMania 30 in two weeks. So don't forget, hit the subscribe button. I am out. Peace.